Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today I will be unboxing 5 different Jurassic World Ember Collection figures and over here we have 3 which are already unboxed so this is basically almost the complete set I'm just lacking the Echo, the Velociraptor Echo Yep, so without further ado, let's just dive right into our review so I'm gonna be unboxing Velociraptor Charlie first, as you guys can see All the boxes, they are almost identical, I would say So I'm just going to take a box cutter and cut this open There's a tape right over here So I've actually asked majority of you guys, like, you know, whether I should be unboxing all these figures or should I be displaying them in their boxes And most of you, you know, told me to unbox them and display in my shelf Which we will do so later on, okay? Together, I will show you guys after all these figures are placed into our shelf So I'm gonna be releasing Charlie from his box right now Okay, so I've managed to cut loose all the different ties that were actually locking Charlie to the box so let's just get Charlie out of the box right now So here's Charlie And here's the headgear Okay, and here's the stand How do we actually wear the headgear? I need to take a look at the box Does it really tell you how to assemble it? I'm not too sure So let's figure this out together later on I'll, You know, I'm thinking just maybe tying it to the head I'm not too sure So maybe you guys can actually let me know in the command section so let's um, assemble Charlie First, I'm just going to be placing this stand right into it And um, Charlie is going to be placed over here It can be done pretty easily Okay, like this So you can actually post Charlie to any direction that you want So this is probably the direction that you should be placing so the Jurassic World facing you And here's like Charlie Yeah, so basically you have different ways of just projecting Charlie, yeah, you can actually tilt the stand To any angle that you like And here is the beautiful Charlie We'll have a close look at this right now So you can see Charlie has golden eyes It's painted in gold The jaw can be moved Upper and lower jaw The arms as well there's plenty of articulation, you can actually move the arms up and down Like this, both the arms you can rotate the wrist, the elbows, the legs So basically, all the different Ember collection figures, they are very articulated, okay? So this is Charlie So the headgear should be placed around here I'm not too sure whether we are able to just slot it right in Or are we supposed to remove the head first? I'm not very sure, so I need to check it out, okay? So I'll just temporarily just place the headgear over here Next, let's take a look at Delta, shall we? Alright, let's take a look at Delta So this is Velociraptor Delta Jurassic World You can see the beautiful box with some marble-like texture in a box At the back, you can basically see um, the exact same you know, design, so let's get this out So you can see the base is actually tied to um, the box But you can actually break it pretty easily like this You can just tear it open And here, here comes the base And um, all, the base, all the bases are similar So here's the headgear for um, Delta Okay I'll place it over here And we need to remove Delta from the box And just give me one minute Okay, so all the strings are cut loose So here's the stand And here's Charlie Let's get it out And that's the headgear Let's do a comparison of the headgear I think both of them are similar Yes, exactly the same in fact so just place it right over here I'll attach the stand onto the base first You can actually rotate this stand to different angles that you like And you can just insert Delta onto the stand and the base 
Looks so good. Okay. There you go. Looks so beautiful. So this is Delta. I'm not too sure whether this is actually the right colors. I don't don't really think so, but you can see the patterns on Delta looks amazing. The detailing is amazing as well. But if you compare the two, you can see Charlie has golden eyes painted in shiny gloss. Kind of a, it has a shimmery sheen, but for Delta, it is just like plain yellow. But similarly, you can actually rotate the neck the upper jaw and the lower jaw, the arms can be moved as well. The sickle shaped claws can be moved as well, so that's really, really fantastic. The tail, it's really articulated as well. You can actually bend the tip of his tail. So this portion here is rubbery, but it also has a metal rod inside, so you can actually bend it to the angle that you like. So really beautiful. The Velociraptors from the Amber collection, they are just amazing. Before we actually move on to the human figures, let's take a look at um, the Dilophosaurus, which is my most favorite Ambo collection figure, okay? So if you take a look at this, it comes with this frill, and um, you can actually change the frill to the one which is closed. Yep, and right over here we have a uh, blue, okay? This is not Echo, this is just a generic Jurassic Park Velociraptor. All right, at the back, you can actually see this very nice, very nice East Dock stand. So apparently this stand was actually knocked down while, you know, Dennis Nedry was driving. So, yep, let's move on to the human figures now, okay, shall we? First, I want to take a look at Owen. So this is the Owen figure, looks really nice. You can actually swap the arms if you take a look at this. The knife can be uh, removed as well. So at the back, you can see Owen. This was the scene where um, he was actually meeting Blue. All right. So let's cut this loose. I'm not going to be keeping the boxes, so I don't really mind tearing up the boxes. Yeah. What about you guys? Do you guys actually keep the boxes because I, I feel these figures they will look better if we just display them on its own without the boxes I think that would look really nice hopefully these figures are able to fit my um, shelf so let's just get Owen out from the box oh my god goodness this is actually pretty tough to remove is there like a string tying Owen down not really so you just need to push him out of the box. There you go. Oops, sorry, that was really noisy. So Owen, just take a seat first. I'll get your base out. Your the pair of arms, so you have two pair two two pairs of hands. So if one gets injured, you know it's pretty hard to remove them, so I'll, I'll need a minute. Okay, so now Owen is back. This is the original arm, the original hand. So you can basically just pop it right in. You can remove it. You can actually change it. So this is basically like a default hand, which is in neutral position. So if you want him to actually hold a knife, you pop this right in and you can just place the knife, you know, in his hand like this. Let's try this. Okay, so you can just slot the knife into his hand. And Owen is wearing a nice watch right here, as you guys can see. <laughs> let's see, yeah. You can't open the fingers, so let's check it out. So the face is actually very well sculpted. It definitely um, represents Owen. You can move his head, you can move um, the body. You can actually remove the vest, so that's pretty cool. So check out the trousers, very washed up, very nice. So you can move the legs, the knees, the feet. So Owen is wearing really nice shoes right here. So you can even slot the knife into the sheath right here. 
so that's really nice to come to the base you can just pop Owen right in yeah it should be done pretty easily so this definitely provides some stability for Owen I'm not too sure whether I'll be able to fit him into my shelf he may be a bit too tall so I'll probably have to put him like you know in a sitting position <laughs> okay and these two arms I'm not too sure I'll probably hide them below the base like this yeah if you want to keep all this or um, you know items out of the way so this is a good way to actually hide them without losing them all right let's move on to our next human figure so Dennis Nedry Dennis Nedry is actually a um, character in Jurassic Park movie the first episode he was actually attacked and um killed by the Dilop Dilophosaurus yeah so in case you guys do not know the movie was out in I think 1993 one of my most favorite movies of all time so let's get Dennis out from the box do you guys know what is this this was actually the canister in which Dennis tried to hide um, the DNA serum of um, the different dinosaurs so let's get Dennis out very nice figure i really love it you can take a look at this and it comes with a different comes with another head of dennis which i'll explain to you later on okay so i'll get all the items out the barbasol can and here is the canister as well arms so let's check it out man so probably this is able to hold a can I, I guess so you're able to just slot it right in but it isn't really holding it well it's kind of loose okay so let's try and just remove one of the the hands and just pop it right in oh my goodness it's pretty tough it's very very tough to slot it right in okay there you go wow I really love this figure it's so beautifully done you can even see the spectacles so let's try and I'll let Dennis hold the Barbasol can. So similarly, you're able to remove, I think you're able to remove the entire vest, which is so cool. The head can be removed as well. And you can actually replace it with this, where the Dilophosaurus was actually spitting the venom on, it, on his face. So this will go really, really well with the Dilophosaurus figure. So you have basically the Dilophosaurus spitting the venom right at his face. And this is the face that he's making. Yeah. So yeah, I'll probably place, I'll probably use this. You can even see his name tag right here, which is so beautifully done, iGen. So he's basically the iGen stuff. Yeah. So he got himself cute. Yeah, by driving out during a... Um, stormy night just crashing into um, different obstacles including this east dock stand okay i'm not too sure whether you, you are able to hold this in the other arm probably probably and let's try yeah you're able to let him hold as well so that's very very cool so yeah you know for with all the figures i think i like Danny's Nedry the most, so cool. You can even rotate the entire body like this. Wow. And you have two portions, two points of articulation, upper body and lower body. 
you can see the belt is very nicely well detailed I love this really amazing figure so I'll probably just hide the arms below the base but you can't hide the head it's too big okay I'll probably just place it on the stand like this in the shelf I think it will look really nice our last figure is actually Dr. Ian Malcolm so let's cut this open So once again, if you're using a box cutter, please, you know, be really careful. Have your parents to help you if you're a kid. Because even I cut myself sometimes, I can be really careless. So make sure you don't cut yourself. So, Dr. Ian Malcolm. So he's one of the doctors in Jurassic Park movie where he wasn't a keen supporter of um, recreating dinosaurs or should I say creating creation of the dinosaurs and Dr. Ian Malcolm will once again be um, in Jurassic World Dominion so I'm really looking forward to him it's like one of the most popular characters in um, the movie. So there you go. So you can see there is once again a different pair of um, hands. Okay, so you have Dr. Ian right here. I don't think you, you are able to remove the head of him. So it looks so cool. All this, you know, Ember Collection figures look so cool. And this is basically what you call this, the torch. It's not exactly a torch, it's like a firecracker, I'm not too sure what you call it. So basically you have to light it up. So they actually used this, Dr. Ian Malcolm and Alan Grant, they used this to um, distract um, the T-Rex. Let's see. So the upper, upper body can be moved as well as the lower body. So check it out, it's really nice. So plenty of articulation. So that's Dr. Ian Malcolm in his beautiful, you know, trademark outfit. And with a cup. So basically this glass of water is actually inside one of the Jurassic Park vehicles. And when a T-Rex was approaching, you can feel and you can even see the water just like vibrating inside the, the glass of water. So it's really nice. A, um, a very significant Jurassic Park scene. Yep. So this is Dr. Ian Malcolm. I'm um, not too sure what these two pairs of hands are for. They're basically in a neutral position. Mm -hmm. So it's more like a spare pair of arms, spare pair of hands for you to um, replace if you know, one of them get lost or something like this. So let's place Dr. Ian Malcolm. So you can see Dr. Ian Malcolm is taller than um, Dennis Nedry. Let's try and see whether Dr. Ian Malcolm will be able to hold the glass with this. No, I'm not. don't think so. I think to hold the glass, you have to use this. I'll, I'll just remove it and um, just pop it right in. Of course, it doesn't really make sense for him to be holding the torch. What, what do you call this? I can't remember what's the name of this. You know, it's like a cracker for you to... Um, it's like a help kind of um, firework. Oh, I, I'm bad at this. I, I need the help of you guys. So yeah, it doesn't really make sense for him to be holding the torch in one hand and the glass in the other. Definitely doesn't really make sense, but it's fine. Okay, so yeah. So basically, these are all the different figures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different Jurassic World Amber Collection figures, you know, just lacking the echo. So yeah, 
I'll bring you guys up. I'm going to display all these figures in my shelf and then we will take a look at it again, okay? Okay, guys, so I've basically placed all the different you know, Amber Collection figures into this shelf right over here. As you guys can see, I have placed the Dilophosaurus spitting the Venom right at Danny's Nedry's face, the East Dog stand right behind, so that looks really cool. Dr. Ian Malcolm is just standing here on his own, and Owen in front of the four Velociraptors. Of course, this is not um, Echo. Yep, we have Blue, Charlie, and Delta right over here. So we just need to get Echo in. And then we have um, more or less a complete set, I guess. Yep, so basically these are the new Amber Collection figures. I think they look really nice. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the unboxing video. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.